first import your character, I used Mixamo's model and animations. Enable editable children and make a new animation tree node, set tree root to new blend tree and animation player to your animation player node, and finally enable active. In the blend tree make a transition node and call it state, give it three inputs and call each one to their action. Then make three animation nodes and call them their action with underscore anime. Use the dots to link the animations to the transition node and then to the output. Use the tape icon on the animation nodes to set the animation, on the transition node set the X fade time to 0.2, as you can see it works very well. Add a new input on the transition node called jump as well as an animation node, note that this will be changed, make a new one shot node and an animation node, this is going to be used for the landing animation. Add a new collision shape, in the input map add, left, right, forward. Backward then assign the keys. In the script create these variables and ready function. To set up the camera, create a spatial node then a spring arm node then a camera node then raise the spring arm. Then make a new process function and make velocity.y to zero. Make a new variable, acceleration and copy this. Once again copy the highlighted text. As you can see the mouse movement is working, but the player is not able to move. Let's fix that, copy the highlighted text. Cool but we can't stop so copy this, to get the player to rotate in the direction of the camera type, but it seems broke that's because the camera is also rotating at the same time so copy this. Now to do the other directions, to fix this change transform.basis.x to z. To set up gravity make two new variables, grav, grav strength. Then copy this. Now make a new variable, jump height and set it to 5. Then copy the text. Time to get animations working. Copy this in all movement code. Then to go back to idle copy this. I made an error when making the player to stop, instead of input is just pressed make it input is action pressed. Let's learn to run, get all current speed changes and put is in the else statement of the movement code, then copy it into the run button code but change it from walk speed to run speed. Nice. The jump animation is a little tricky but let's give it a try. This is where I said we will change a few things. Remove the jump input and make a new one shot node in the animation tree, and hook the animation up to it and call it jump. Next copy this in the jump code. Make a new timer node and call it jump timer, and set the time to the point where the animation jumps, for me this is 0.5. Toggle one shot, copy this in the timeout function. I imported a new animation for falling, to make the animation active when not on floor copy this. In the jump if statement type, and jumping is false, make a new variable jumping and set it as false, next in the jump code type, jumping is true, in the falling code make jumping false. To make the landing animation work, make a new variable called floor just and make it false, then copy this. And there we have it. 